Hey guys, how's it going? This is another Let's Play Mabinogi. I believe we're on episode... I have no idea. It'll be in the title. Um, yeah, sorry I haven't posted one in a while. There's been, like, a lot of crap going on. Uh, yesterday was an amazing event called the Double Rainbow Event, and I basically reaped as much of that as I could. Uh, it was a 24-hour event that had pretty much times two everything. Uh, times two experience, times two skill training, and most importantly, when you leveled up, it gave you it gave you two AP for every level. So when you level up, yeah, I mean, I got I'm level 48. I got all that yesterday before I went to bed. I I'd like here's what I did. I basically took a nap, uh, woke up right right around when the event started, and I rebirthed my character. That way, I could just completely annihilate the event and just get as much AP as I could. <laughs> Excuse me. In that time, I ended up getting two rank one skills. I ranked up Ice Bolt to one, and I ranked up Combat Mastery to one. So now I have three rank one skills: uh, Smash, Ice Bolt, and Combat Mastery, which is pretty awesome. And I'm going to be working on getting the master titles for those over time. I'm not going to focus on it because it's a lot easier to get crap when you're not trying. Alright, right now what I'm doing is I'm just going to get another, uh, just going to renew my farm. Because uh, I just harvested the strawberries and made 210k, which is pretty nice. Uh, I also, got, I got some NX, I got this premium service, I got this deer. And I'm still getting enough for my next rebirth, which I will do on uh, Sunday. Which is nice. So yeah, I'm gonna lease a field. There are currently no fields. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I guess I'm gonna change channels then. Let's. What channel am I on? I think I'm on seven. Let's try six. But yeah. <coughs> The event was amazing. Basically, all I did was grinded a uh, black tailed mongoose in Iria and spammed some shadow missions. There was also a 2x gold drop and 2x item. So, what I tried to do was do some theater missions to see if I could get a. Um, glory sword because that's one of my goals right now uh, I had two goals one was to get a lava cat robe and one was to get a glory sword I got the lava cat robe yesterday I uh, saved up for it and my game froze alright here I am I uh, ended up finding one on channel 5 let's see there are one fields one fields that was horrible grammar do I have the 30k on me? I sure don't. Let me see if I can do it with the bank. Fuck, I gotta do this quick. Alright, let me run to the bank, grab 5k out of it, and lose this field. <coughs> Alright, for those who have never tried farming and aren't familiar with it, I suggest doing it if you have some free time. I mean, you have to take care of it. Uh, like, hang on, let me do this and I'll explain it, because I really don't want to lose this. I'm just gonna re withdraw like 20k. Alright, anyway, for those who don't know, that's what you do to lease a farm. You go to this guy and tail Tian. Uh, it's listed on the map as farm manager, and you talk to him to lease a farm. It costs 30k to lease the farm. Uh, once you've done it, you can pretty much, let's see, you want to go to shop, and you want to find what, whatever seed you want to plant. Alright, 
the seed will basically, when it grows, it'll grow after like a couple days to a week uh, after doing it, and you make a shit ton of profit off of it. Right now, I want to see how much everything is selling for. So right now, pumpkins are selling for 6k for each pumpkin. Now that's pretty insane. Uh, let's see, eggplants are going for a lot as well. Uh, but the thing is, what's going for a lot right now in a couple days will be going down because everyone will be trying to go uh, sell those. So I think what I'm going to do is try to sell tomatoes because I'm sure those might go up a little bit uh, over time. And from what I hear, tomatoes are really easy to grow. You don't have to be like hawkeyeing over them a whole lot. I didn't even see cabbage on the list. Alright, let's go. Tomatoes. 500 gold. You only need one pouch. Put them in your inventory. And then head to your new farm. It'll be list it'll be marked on the map if as long as you're on that channel. Like you have to be on uh, the channel that you just purchased your farm on. Sorry if I sound really nasally, I did kinda just wake up. So yeah, let's expand the map and head to the farm. Let's see, it's right there. Yeah, there's a little, like, green flag that marks where your farm is, and you can go there, and what you do, you get ten actions each day. They appear in your action list. I just hotkeyed them onto my second bar. <coughs> and you get, you get watering, fertilizing, and bug catching. Basically, your goal is to try to keep everything at 100% on this little side over here. So, what I want to do first is plant seeds. I've got tomato seeds. Okay. You've successfully planted the seeds. Hope you have a great harvest. So now that they're planted, you can check this and... It starts out there's not a whole lot of bugs in your field, but it needs to be fertilized and watered. So that's what we're going to do. Right now, fertilization is lower, so I'm going to try to get that up. I like to try to keep them all as even as possible while keeping them at least above 75. But I was just doing strawberries, and those are apparently one of the like hardest to take care of, or something, is what people are telling me. I don't really know from experience. But that's the only thing I've harvested so far, and I made 210k off of it at the end, uh, after like three days. And I'm really, really sorry about my stuffy nose. It's, it's like I'm like this every morning. All right, you have fertilized the field, and after about 45 minutes to 30 to 45 minutes, it will show up right here that you have fertilized it. And I don't know about, I don't know about these, but when I did it with strawberries, it went up like five to ten percent every time. But you can do those kind of actions ten times a day. You see it right here. Times left nine. And then you can go in your history, and it tells you how many times you've done each thing, uh, when your field expires, what you're growing, uh, when you planted it, and etc. When this gets above 75%, I believe, when your growth level gets above 75%, you can press harvest. And that'll take... It takes like five hours to harvest, and then they send uh, the harvestings to your mail. When you get those out, you can go talk to uh, the field manager and he will buy your crops off you and that's how you make a really really nice profit and that's just a really great income as long as you have some free time in Mabinogi. Sorry if this was a boring episode but that's basically just what I was doing right now. So yep, I'm gonna go try to get level 50 before all the kitties get out of school and start lagging up the servers. So I'll talk to you guys later.